Hello, good evening. My name is Ricardo and the purpose of this video is to give some uh, descriptions about the li life differences between cities and countryside. Uh, before I could uh, start explaining some of this difference, uh, let me hunt around of some historical uh, aspects. Um, when human being uh, settled down for the first time and built uh, or started building these uh, fierce societies, everything was about uh, the countryside. People used to work on farming and cattle, cattle raising and things related to subsistence, subsistence activities. So there were no cities at all. Um, all of uh, student society, societies face an over farming production and new work activities were created. Uh, plus these things, uh, the population grow and those things gave birth to the cities. Now, to name a place as a city, each country has uh, their own system in order to determine which place is a city and which place is not. But all of them consider population for it. Uh, here's a, an example. Uh, here in Mexico, uh, 200 2,500 people living in a town made it consider the place uh, as an urban place. But in other countries like Denmark, uh, where population is uh, fewer than in Mexico, there just needs uh, 250 people to consider a place to be a city. Um, actually, uh, there's kind of an anecdote here in Morelia uh, about one of, of its famous neighborhoods called Villas del Pedregal. It seems as a city by itself for, for the people uh, because it's not near the downtown and it is like overpopulated. So uh, even uh, the the last census uh, showed that uh, there's more than uh, I think thirty thousand of people living uh, there, and that's actually quite a lot. Uh, well, um, as we told, uh, that's um, difference between perception about what's a city and you can certainly get confused so let's get into it uh, i was telling you that uh, you could get confused uh, about the process on determining which uh, which place is a city and which place is not uh, be uh, mainly because of the urbanization uh, process uh, it always is changing so all the times towns tend to change to more uh, urbanized places and if you are living for example here in Morelia um, you realize that the place is a city but the instance you could or you will visit another city like New York or maybe Tokyo in Japan and you just realize that there's much more than a city in your country. Um, for us, uh, it could be more like a megalopolis. Uh, uh, just uh, to be in the same way led, uh, we have uh, conceived in this video a city uh, as a large important town. Mm, well, uh, in order to avoid drawn and on, we are focusing in three different categorizers to establish a comparison uh, between uh, life in cities and village. So we are start with the first one, security. Well, we know that danger is everywhere, but uh, there are um, certain kind of dangers that you could find in some place or another. So, um, for example, in cities, there must, there, there's, uh, there's known that uh, it's 
much more people and the evidence suggests that you could, uh, you could get more chance to be robbed uh, in the streets and uh, well in, in village uh, it's very common that um, all the people have known each other and is uh, a less chance to be robbed because you know all, all the of the people and certainly if you get robbed uh, someone of the town could know these people and you could chase chase him or chase her uh, in cities for example another kind of danger is that you uh, you could probably suffer a car accident and or you could be involved in in one or be witness of, of an accident and the evidence says that in a little village uh, you, you can get uh, hurt in a car accident but uh, it hardly ever uh, could be involved with another vehicle so maybe crash uh, down the hill or something like that but it's not like there are much of cars and one crash to another um, other kind of danger uh, that uh, you can uh, you, you are exposed to in village uh, is that uh, people from there uh, is widely recognized that people uh, get pinched by poisonous animals like insects uh, or, or have to be aware to some wild animals and in the cities for uh, for example you can get pinched by insects but uh, just a few cases are poisonous animals mm. I, I, when I was working in a village uh, years ago there uh, a kid uh, showed with the f with, with a, a, a lot of damage in, in his uh, face and i asked him uh, what happened to him and he told me about uh, there was uh, a lot of bees near a tree and he crashed to the tree and the bees pinched pinch him so it's one of these kind of dangers presented in the uh, village. Other thing that we are going to compare is uh, public services. Here's maybe considerable differences between one another. So uh, in cities, it's easier to access to different health services, um, maybe convenience stores, uh, public transportation, and uh, it's always more often that you could find a lot of schools and universities and on the other hand uh, in village there are fewer health services actually some of the village uh, have just a doctor who visit them uh, i don't know maybe once twice a month and in some of their village you cannot find uh, convenience stores and you have to travel a long way to find a store um, other thing is the, the the last one is the daily activities so uh, in in the cities you do live in a hurry all the time you are running from another uh, place to another in order to to get on time to different activities and uh, in village people is not used to be in a hurry um, other thing is that when you get uh, from a place to another you do face a lot of traffic in cities uh, even you could get stuck on a traffic jam and uh, well in village uh, the only traffic you would have found uh, is the one made by cows or animals crossing the path so uh, it's quite a lot of difference well uh, 
There's no doubt that uh, significant difference between both village and cities, uh, but the results would appear to show that more and more people is moving from uh, this little village uh, to, to the cities. So here's the end of the video. I could, uh, I hope it, it would be understood as well as I think. See you.